Hello, I'm Shweta Ayes. I'm from Sagar, Karnataka. In 2013, God told me that He is going to give me the revelation of Mark of Beast. I was astonished, for I thought that it is something man himself has to find the answer by his own intelligence. Because it is written in Revelation 13, 18, this calls for wisdom. If anyone has insight, let him calculate the number of the beast, for it is man's number. But God took me to the chapter Daniel 2.28 where it is written, No wise man, enchanter, magician or diviner can explain to the king the mystery he has asked about. But there is God in heaven who reveals mysteries. Yes, there is God in heaven who reveals mysteries. Then God spoke to me. He is the only wise man who can reveal any mysteries. Then he directed me to pray like Daniel prayed in chapter Daniel 2.20 because it is the key to unlock this mystery. I pray it like Daniel prayed in chapter 220. It is written, Praise be to the name of God forever and ever. Wisdom and power are His. He changes times and seasons. He sets up kings and deposes them. He gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to the discerning. He reveals deep and hidden things. He knows what lies in darkness and light dwells with him. I thank and praise you, O God of my fathers. You have made known to me what we asked of you. Like that I prayed. Now I am going to explain you what God, the one and only wise man, revealed me. Okay, let's start. Here I have written words of God. First is Matthew twenty four fifteen, the abomination that causes desolation. Jesus is saying here, the name of the beast is abomination. Second word is Revelation 1317, the number of his name. We have already got the name of the beast is abomination. And the number is 616. How it is, I will show you. Here is the account of wise man. Proverb 6.16 says, These six things doth the Lord hate. Here, seven are an abomination unto him. Here you can see the number of his name. Number is 616. Name is abomination. See, the number 616 represents the name abomination. This is the count of wise man. In Revelation 13.1, it is written, And I saw a beast coming out of the sea. He had ten horns 
and seven heads with ten crowns on his horns and on each head a blasphemous name. Name of the beast is Abomination. He has got seven heads. Now, let us look into seven blasphemous names written on seven heads of the abomination. First one, a proud look. Second, a lying tongue. Third, hands that shed innocent blood. Fourth, and heart that deviseth wicked imaginations. Fifth one, feet that be swift in running to mischief. Sixth, a false witness that speaketh lies. Seventh, he that soweth discord among brethren. See, Christ Jesus is word of God. Antichrist abomination is word of devil. In chapter Revelation 17, 3 to 4, it is written that there I saw a woman on a scarlet beast that was covered with blasphemous names and had seven heads and ten horns. Abomination is the beast. These are the blasphemous names on the seven heads of beast. A proud look, a lying tongue, hands that shed innocent blood, and heart that deviseth wicked imagination, feet that be swift in running to mischief, a false witness that speaketh lies, he that soweth discord among brethren. In Revelation 13 2, it is written, The beast I saw resembled a leopard. Means this beast looks like a leopard and the spots on the leopard represent he will not change the character or nature ever which is written in Jeremiah 13.23. Can the leopard changes its spots? No, never. In Revelation 13.2, it is written, but had feet like those of bear, which means in the Proverb 1.16, it is written, for their feet rush into sin. That means they are eagerly run to commit sins. In Revelation 17.4, it is written, The woman was dressed in purple and scarlet and was glittering with gold, precious stones and pearls. She held a golden cup in her hand, filled with abominable things and the filth of her adulteries. This title was written on her forehead. Mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of prostitutes and of the abominations of the earth. Let's see the mystery of Babylon. In Zechariah 5 8, it is written, There in the basket sat a woman. He said, This is wickedness. And in Zechariah 5 11, she was taken to the country of Babylonia to build a house for it. When it is ready, the basket will be set there in its place. This woman is called wickedness and she is mystery Babylon. This is the iniquity of the people throughout the land written in Zechariah 5.6. Yes, this is the woman called wickedness. And she is a mystery Babylon.
the woman called wickedness sit song abomination in revelation 13:11 it is written then i saw a another beast coming out of the earth he had two horns like a lamb but he spoke like a dragon this beast is a liar he deceives the inhabitants of the earth liar speaks to mind of a man about seven abomination and you know the seven abomination which i already said let me mention once again a proud look a lying tongue hands that shed innocent blood and heart that devised wicked imagination feet that be swift in running to mischief a false witness that speaketh lies he that soweth discord among brethren when the man accepts this abomination to fulfill his needs he will become wicked man and this man's number will be 616 according to revelation 1318 this man represents the mankind the person may be a man or a woman a boy or a girl or an adult or old person for it is man's number in revelation 1715 it is written the waters you saw where the prostitute sits are peoples multitudes nations and languages here prostitute is a babylon or the wickedness which we already discussed this prostitute sits on people means this wickedness sits on people the wickedness or prostitute will not sit by itself it is the man's free will to allow or choose her here no one forces him but to fulfill his own desires he chooses the wickedness and he becomes wicked man in revelation 17 three to four it says woman sitting on scarlet beast here woman represents wickedness and scarlet beast represents abomination it means wickedness sits on the man because the man has become abomination or 616 when the man becomes 616 or abomination the beast will get the power to rule over the wickedness in man because it is written in revelation 1716 the beast and the 10 horns you saw will hate the prostitute they will bring her to ruin and leave her naked they will eat her flesh and burn her with fire this means the beast with 10 horns will get the power to rule and kill the wickedness inside a man that is the reason in the revelation 18:4 god is calling his people come out of her my people so that you will not share 
in her sins, so that you will not receive any of her plagues, for her sins are piled up to heavens, and God has remembered her crimes. Here, God is calling his children to come out of their wickedness, otherwise the beast will kill them. For it is written in Revelation 17, 17, For God has put into their hearts to accomplish his purpose by agreeing to give the beast their power to rule until God's words are fulfilled. Okay, I am concluding this message here. This is the revelation which I received from God. I am posting here by God's command. Thank you.